Hey everyone, it's Mia and today's video is gonna be all about Bath University. So basically I decided to do this video because a lot of people have been messaging me on Instagram about like just loads of questions about Bath or about my course but mainly to do with the uni specifically. So I thought I would do a video on it because I would have just loved to have had something like this like this time last year for all the unis I applied to. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and let's just get started. A bit of background info, I am in first year at Bath University. Obviously I'm not there at the moment for obvious reasons, but like I'm still doing my course online. I've lived there for like six months, I guess, like whenever the end of September until now, I've been there. And I study economics and I'm going to do a separate video all about economics because it only applies to like specific people so this video is going to be all about just the university and what I think of it and just everything I would want to know about it if I hadn't been there. Um, and then I will do a separate video on my course and everything about economics and applying for it my personal statement and everything. So yeah, I've just come up with a few categories. So I'm gonna be talking about the campus, the accommodation, the city, and just like other random things that I think are useful to know. So before I start, I just wanna say, overall, I absolutely love Bath Uni. Like, it's everything that I want. And I didn't realize that until I got there. I just thought it's worth saying it's fine if you're like not entirely sure because I really liked the uni and everything I'd heard about it but you just don't know until you get there and literally the past six months I've probably been the happiest I've ever been for probably for multiple reasons but one of them is just to do with like where I am so yeah overall I'm so happy at Bath and can't wait for another year right so I'll start with the campus um first thing to say is it's quite a small campus compared to every other uni that I've seen. So I visited Nottingham, Oxford and Bristol as well as Bath um, and I also applied to Loughborough but I didn't visit that so I don't know. But Nottingham is huge compared to Bath, like it's such a big campus um, and like I've been the, back there since the open days um, because my friend goes there and it's really nice but I just would not like how big it is only because it just takes so long to get everywhere my friend that goes there lives like a half an hour walk away from her best friend which is really annoying um, end to end the Bath campus is probably 15 minute maximum walk like from the furthest point to the furthest point would be like maximum 15 minute walk I live on one side of the campus. I live in Westwood. It, uh, in the, on the campus it's done like east and west of like the centre point. So I live like at the end of Westwood and the furthest point I'd have to go is to the east building. And if I have a 9.15 there, I could leave at like five past nine and I'd get there. So yeah, I would actually say for me, um, having a small campus is actually an advantage because I just, would be too lazy to walk to things if it was so far away. And also when it's a small campus, you sort of feel like you know what's going on everywhere. It's almost like a little village, it sounds weird, but yeah, because it's so small, like you just like know what's going on everywhere. My room is probably like five minute walk to the parade, which is where like most things are on. They sometimes have like farmer's markets where you can get like fruit and veg. Um, I think they're going to make that an every month thing now actually and they have a lot of like activism on the parade as well like just like societies promoting stuff um, like Christian uni and stuff and stuff it's quite interesting I definitely wanted to go to a campus uni I out of the ones I visited Bristol and Oxford are both not campus unis is in like everything sort of dotted around the city which I think I would have liked as well but I just prefer to have a campus also it's just so nice to like go to other people's flats and like if you're having like pre's at someone else's it's literally just like you just walk for like five ten minutes to get to theirs also I feel like you'd probably be more motivated to go to all your lectures and stuff because it's so close most of my lectures were like a five minute walk 
from my room. Next thing I will touch on is the student union. So I think the student union is really good in terms of like the events that they do. The student union is open every day and they, sorry, this really sounds like I'm like promoting Bath. Like I'm not trying to get you to go there. I'm just saying that I really like it. But anyway, yeah, it really sounds like I'm sponsored by them, but obviously not. Um, so yeah, they just have like really fun stuff at the SU like every day. Um, so the main things are on Tuesdays they have a pub quiz. Me and my flatmates go sometimes, it's actually quite fun. Um, and at the pub quiz you can win prizes like in loads of, in like every round. And yeah, we always win stuff, so yeah. On Thursdays they have two for one cocktails and they don't do cocktails any other night so you can only get cocktails on the Thursday and it's two for one between certain times. Um, and that's just really fun, they have like a little DJ and the cocktails are so, so good. Like. I have a great time there. And then on Fridays, they have this thing called happy hour, which is actually happy four hours, like it's four till eight, where it's just like really cheap drinks and it's so busy. Like usually there's a really long queue to get in and they sometimes have to do like one in, one out. It's so fun. Like me and my flatmates have been there so like pretty much every week. And yeah, it's just really busy. It's just like a huge social event because like F there's just so many people around, almost like in a club, but no one's dancing. And yeah, that's really fun and it ends at eight. So usually you like go to happy hour and then like have pre's and then go out. And then on Wednesdays and Saturdays, the student union turns into like a club. Um, so on Wednesdays, the SU actually puts on the event, like it's organized by them. And that's like the sports night. So they, d they definitely have like sports Wednesdays at every single uni. Um, but basically everyone just like has a social with their sports team, you usually have a theme in each team and then you like dress up and then you go out. But I think at other unis, it's like you go out to a club in the city, whereas in Bath you go just on campus. And then on Saturdays they have an event which is not run by the SU, but it's like from an external company and, and that's definitely a less popular event, but I think it's really good, so yeah. It's just so nice like going out on campus because like if you get tired or you get bored or you get or you just don't want to be there anymore you can just walk back by yourself it's like completely safe to go back by yourself because your room would be like five minutes away it's just so easy like that's why loads of people like it it's just because it's like just so easy to go there so next thing i'll talk about is accommodation so i'm actually going to run through all of them just like and do like a brief description like what's good what's bad and like what it's sort of like known for if you know what i mean obviously you can see photos and a description of all the accommodation on the bath uni website so if you don't want to listen to this and i will put the timestamp for when like this section is over i'll try and make this as quick as possible so westward is where i live so that's sort of in the top left corner of the map so Westwood, it's not known as like a nice one. It doesn't look that nice from the outside, but the rooms are quite nice, I would say. So I had a sink in my room, which is really nice. I didn't have an ensuite. It's laid out in flats. So I had about 20 flatmates, around 20 on each floor and there's five floors. And your flatmates are your whole floor. And we had three kitchens on each floor. Yeah, like people just like go in whatever kitchen, but you're like one that you cook in would just be closest to you. So you're sharing a kitchen with like seven, eight people, I think, a bit more than that. There's about five Westwood buildings and they all differ slightly. And I'm not sure how they differ, but it's, they're pretty much all the same. Some of them don't have sinks in, I think, but yeah. But the thing I like about it is that it's so sociable because you have 20 flatmates, which is obviously quite a lot. And then also you've got five floors. So it's about a hundred people or just over in a building. Next one is Eastwood, which is like top right of the map. These are laid out like houses. So you're, so you'd have like only a few rooms on each floor, but then it's like a house kind of, and then the kitchen at the bottom. So your flatmates are everyone in that building. Um, and you share one kitchen between about 13 people. So quite a lot of people sharing a kitchen. And again, it's not en suites. So you just have like a few, sh like one shared bathroom on each floor and just like a few rooms on each floor, so yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say that mine was like four toilets and like seven showers or something like that between 20 people, but I've never had to wait for a shower, never had to wait for anything, like it's absolutely fine and it gets cleaned, so yeah. Next one is Norwood, and this is known as like probably the 
the least nice one, but the rooms are actually quite nice. Um, like they're quite big. They're quite, they're quite big, I would say. Yeah, the rooms are definitely bigger than Westwood and Eastwood, but it's not that nice in terms of like aesthetics, whether that matters to you, I don't know. And also this is above the student union. So if you're on like the bottom floor of Norwood, you'd be right above the club. So if you're not the sort of person that would want to go out loads, it's probably going to be quite loud. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really spoken to anyone that's on the bottom floor, but that's the reason I didn't put it down in the accommodation application because I just wouldn't like that. So if I just decided to have a chill night and I could hear that below my room, I'd be really annoyed. But if you're on the bottom floor and the floor above that, then you get free entry to Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I'm not sure how many people to the bathrooms and stuff there. Next one is quads, and this is like known as the nicest one, um, just because it's like quite modern, it has like mood lighting in the rooms, has really good social spaces. So like you have a massive kitchen, and then a massive lounge as well whereas most places only have like a kitchen slash lounge like in one but yeah they have like a lounge with a big tv we don't have tvs in westwood or eastwood i don't think but people bring them so you you do have a tv but it just doesn't come with the room quads is where there's like a lot of pre's because it's like just really big social spaces but i will say that this is the place where i've seen the most mess like it's actually disgusting the kitchens even though the kitchen is really big to accommodate for a lot of people i don't i'm not sure how many people but um it's a lot more people sharing the kitchen but the kitchen is huge so there's enough space but because there's so many people there's just so much mess also the quads rooms are quite small like they're not they're definitely smaller than Eastwood and Westwood, even though Quartz is more expensive. Um, so yeah, depends whether you care about that sort of thing. Also, I think they have TVs in the rooms, like they come with the room. Next one is Salisbury and Marlborough Court. I've only been into Salisbury, but I think they're quite similar. But they're, they're, they're really nice, I would say. The kitchen is shared between like 12 people-ish, I'm pretty sure. Um, really nice rooms, en suite, nice rooms in terms of like colours, it's all very neutral and white. Uh, nice kitchen. Next one is Brendan Court. That This is sort of part of Westwood, it's pretty much the same as Westwood. I can't think of like really any differences apart from the layout. It's really hard to explain the layout, but it's just different. Um, but it's pretty much the same as Westwood. And the last one is Woodland Court, and this is the elite accommodation. They have double beds. I'm pretty sure it's the only accommodation on campus that has double beds. And it's just so nice. It's just so nice. Like that's, that's they're the best ones, but it's probably the most expensive. That's all the accommodation. Hope that helps. The main thing I'd say is it doesn't actually matter which accommodation you're in. Like it's more about your flatmates. Um, and that's sort of just luck. I absolutely love my flatmates, but it literally wouldn't have mattered what accommodation I was in, really, because people go to each other's flats all the time. You have pre's like in loads of different places. Also, Bath have a really weird way of doing accommodation. It's not first come, first serve. You have to put down seven that you'd be happy to have, which is just stupid. And you'll see, you'll see. They're, they'll explain it on the website, but um, it's a bit of luck really my, mine wasn't my first choice but i'm glad that i didn't get my first choice so yeah next category is the city so i love bath it's so lush like it's just such a lovely place everything just so many pretty streets so many nice food places nice bars restaurants loads of shopping they have an amazing urban outfitters. I've been in the urban outfitters far too many times, spent most of my money there. It's such a gorgeous place, it's so safe. That is what I love the most, is I feel so safe. You could probably walk home from a night out by yourself and you'd be fine. Like, obviously I'm not recommending it, but you literally would be fine. Whereas you couldn't do that in like most big cities. In fact, I literally can't think of any other city that you'd be able to do that. But Bath is, it's almost like a town. Um, but there's so much to do. Also, I don't think it's that expensive. I'm not, I can't really think, it's really hard to judge and it really depends where you're from and like in comparison to your area and everything. But on the whole, I wouldn't say it's that expensive. Um, the things that are probably more expensive just cause it's like in the south probably rather than the north 
um, is Ubers are more expensive. I noticed that when I was in Manchester, Ubers were really cheap. Yeah, Ubers and taxis probably have a little bit of a higher higher price, but from town to campus, it is six to eight pounds in an Uber. So yeah, if you're sharing between four people, it's like two pounds maximum. But in terms of drink prices, like all, pretty much all the nights out you'll go on will be a student night, so it will be cheap prices. It just depends where you go, really. Like if you're going to like a really nice pub or restaurant, then it probably is gonna be expensive, but you just have to find the right places. Next thing worth noting is that all the events are themed which sounds weird, but it's actually really fun. So obviously on Wednesdays, if you're like in a sports team, there'll be a theme for that. Saturdays always have a theme. And then the main club in town, um, they always have a bit more of a dress up theme on Mondays. So it would be like more of a fun thing, like maybe you have to get an outfit for it. And then on Fridays, it will more be like a music theme. Not like a, not really like cheesy music. But let me get some examples of the themes. The Friday night ones are not dress up at all though. It's like, it'll just be a music theme or like, not really, like all the music's quite similar every week, but they'll just like throw in a song here and there if you know what I mean. Nostalgia 2010s throwback, but not every song will be a 2010s throwback. They'll also do like normal music as well. Um, hip hop takeover, international love. But yeah, I just thought it was worth noting that all the events are themed because I told some of my friends that, that don't, that go to other unis and they were like, what, that's so weird. But it's really fun. So yeah, there's a lot of dress up in Bath. There's a lot of dressing up. Also another thing worth noting, there's no raves. There's no, there's no raves in Bath. If you want raves, don't come to Bath because there's none. Yeah, it's just not that type of place at all. There are clubs that do like more cheesy music, ones that do like more cool music, ones that do like throwback stuff, disco stuff. You've got quite a big range, but there's no raves. Also, I forgot to mention that the clubs in Bath are quite small. The main one that people go to, it's kind of like you go into a bar and then you go down steps and like the club is underground um, and then the smoking area is upstairs, like in the bar. So it's quite small, like all the clubs are quite small. The maximum capacity of the biggest one is like 1,200 people and that is the one on campus. Um, so if you're thinking of clubs like Prism and like those big clubs with loads of floors, like there's nothing like that in Bath. Obviously you can go on nights out to Bristol. Um, but yeah, the style of the clubs in Bath is quite unique. But the good thing about that is, especially if you go on a uni of Bath student night, like you will just see absolutely everyone you know, like everyone in the club, you'll probably know them. So yeah, it's quite fun. Also another thing is there's quite a few nice bars that do, that almost is like a bit of a club vibe, but it's not a club, but they do like nice music and drinks and stuff. For example, Revs is one of those places. Um, so they sometimes have like one-off events where they turn into a club. They had that on Halloween, that was fun. Also Slug and Lattice has that. I just went there one Friday night um, randomly and like there was just people dancing at the bar and like around the bar area and there's really nice drinks, so yeah. And then I just have a few last notes which don't really fall into any category. But the first thing is the buses, I would say, are really good. So the buses run through the night, so you can get the bus home from a night out and it'll be like £1.50. You can, like, there's an app and you just get like a pack of 10 for £15 single bus tickets and yeah or you can get like a day ticket yeah the buses are really good so it's which just makes things cheap like going into town next thing is bath is very sporty uni i didn't really realize this until i got there but that's the reason i did cheerleading is because i wanted to be part of a team there are a lot of things focused around sports next thing is the gym is really good like it's such a nice gym um, it does get really busy, like it's pretty much always busy, but you can find like non-peak times if you don't want to go when it's busy, but I always find a space so it's fine, but it is like, I just think it's a really nice gym. However, it is very expensive, it's like £300 for the year and you can't pay monthly, so you have to pay £300 and you're not going to be there in the summer, which is a bit annoying. I guess you can use student loan for that. <laughs> Next thing is jobs, when I first got there, I 
there's quite a few like bars and stuff on campus and everyone on campus pays £10 an hour which is so good and yeah pretty much everyone working in all the bars and shops and stuff are students they will fit your um, shifts around your lectures and stuff so it's pretty good if you wanted to get a job also they have this thing that I did this whole year um, and it's basically being a rep for nights out so there's like a company that organise Mondays, Fridays and Saturday nights out and you basically just have to sell tickets for the Saturdays, create guest lists for Mondays and Fridays and you get commission for it which is really good and also I've just made so many friends from doing that job. It's just such a social thing so you usually meet like two times a week and then you see them on nights out and they have like rep drinks for free, you get free entry to nights out so it's a pretty good thing to do. Oh, and the last thing I want to say is about like the shop on campus. So the shop that we have is called Fresh and it's actually a co-op, but it's called Fresh. Um, and I think it's pretty good. It's got, it's got quite a lot of stuff. And some, it's a bit weird pricing. Like some things are like cheaper than you'd expect and some things are more expensive than you'd expect. So it's sort of all like evens out. There's also a Barclays and Santander, I'm pretty sure. I've never actually been in either of them. They have cash points, so that's the only thing I've used it for. Oh, and there's a medical center, which is like a little bit of a walk, but it's only like 10 minutes um, from the center. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I can think of. Sorry if this was too long, but I just thought I'd cover everything. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll try and answer. Again, I'm gonna do a separate video to do with um, like economics and stuff because most people won't be interested in that um yeah and i'll cover in that video about like what i think about like teaching and everything obviously that varies course to course so i literally couldn't comment on it for anything other than economics but yeah i hope that helps everyone that is thinking of going to bath obviously all of that i talked about it in like such a positive way because it suits me so well but maybe all of that stuff sounds like not ideal for you and that's fine there is almost like a specific style to everything in bath like i'd say it suits loads of different people but also it could be not for you in any way just because of the way that it is from everything i've said i don't know if you can like catch a vibe from like what it's like so yeah i hope you liked this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below yeah i'll answer any other questions in the comments i will see you guys in my next video bye